Today we're here to review a pair of costumes that were very kindly sent to us by CosplaySky.com and if you're a cosplayer you've probably heard of them because they sell literally everything. Quick disclaimer, we were sponsored for these costumes, Cosplay Sky sent these costumes for us for free. However, our opinions are unbiased, completely genuine and we would tell you things were shit because we're perfectionists. The costumes that we got were the Attack on Titan Scouting Legion Levi with Cape cosplay costume. Costume price, everything including the cape, was $99. And we got ours custom made, which means they are made to our measurements. However, I do not know whether that adds any kind of fee. We... My boss is calling. <laughs> So we've wanted Attack on Titan costumes for like the longest time, particularly because we're massive weebs who like Owen Levi. We got the exact same two costumes because Levi's costume is the only one that includes a Wings of Freedom logo on the back and they don't have an Irving costume so we just simply decided to get the exact same costume. So the only difference between these costumes is the size, so therefore we'll just show you one costume. Oh, I'm saying the first <laughs> right. This costume includes a jacket, the wings of freedom printed on three times, and a nice ass button. I'm a perfectionist, so if it was down to me, I'd have a leather, old, like, aged jacket, but that's perfectionism, and mm. it ain't happening. I'm a scabby student. I've already said that, but I'm a scabby student. <laughs> The quality of the jacket is really good. It's all finished up, all the seams are finished, it's lined as well. Makes you look buff as shit. <laughs> it has padded shoulders, which therefore makes it look buff. So the logos are not embroidered, it's just sort of like a, like a sticker kind of deal. But they look really really good nonetheless. And they've withstood all our yeah. shenanigans. Which um, you'll probably have witnessed by now. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> We plan in the future to age these jackets ourselves to make them a bit more realistic but mm. otherwise the jacket itself is great. The second item is... A shirt! As you can see it is grey because it is again Levi's costume. Uh, things to note about it is that it has an interface colour so the colour stands really nicely. Um, otherwise the shirt is really good. Uh, my shirt fit me fantastically, like absolutely perfectly. Uh, Ashley's as well, actually. Your shirt fit really well. Yeah, I ended up using my own shirt in the end because Owen's shirt is white. Third item is... A dinner bib. <laughs> no, it's the Levi's cravat. I think that's what it's called. Yep. And it is Velcro. You basically can just put it around your neck and, you know, Velcro it easily. It is a shiny material, sort of like a silky shiny material, which personally I'm not the biggest fan of. No. I would have preferred it matte. However, it's really nicely done, like it's nicely sewn. It's yeah. just the material I'm not a fan of. But, there's, yeah. there's interfacing in this as well, yes. like really good interfacing. It makes it stand really nicely, so it works really well. But yeah, it's just the fabric. Otherwise, great. And the fourth item is... Pants! I am glad that Cosplays Guy let me have these because the material colour is something I'd never find, usually. They are not stretchy, so they kind of have to fit you. Mm, you have to put your exact measurements in. They have an extended stretchy bit of the waistband which is really good for me because I go like this and then I go like this on the bottom half. <laughs> so that's very necessary for me. I will say that even though I gave them fairly accurate measurements, the pants don't fit me around the waist. But I acknowledge that to be my body's not like many others mm. and it's difficult to find any pants that fit me. So. It is very likely that we have made measurement mistake as well because my costume fits me perfectly however Ashley's not so much so Ashley's pants don't fit him This is the problem when you've got junk in that trunk <laughs> They have loops for the belts that's why you put the belts through and do the complicated belt system thing We'll get to that The fifth item is A hip cape which currently looks like an arm sling. Uh, this thing is perfectly fine. There's not much to say about it other than it's a very nice material. It's very like silky and sort of demi, like semi satiny, but not too much. It's got a bit of stretch to it. It's extremely comfortable and there's Velcro all along to fit you. So it folds like that and then you go around again and it does the thing. It does the triangle thing. Not much else to say about it, it's well done. Ashley's was a little too big again. Uh, a lot too big. <laughs> yeah, it practically fell off. I could use it as a hula hoop. 
But um, again, it might have been our mistake because mm. mine fits me perfectly. Mm. So we can't really say much on that. But otherwise, it's well made. Great, great for blindfolding and kidnapping. The sixth item is a cape. So you know those weird flippy capes they have. Listen to Sassen, Jason Diego. For an unknown reason. What should be an unknown reason? They're great. They're what awesome. Literally nothing bad to say about it. It's really well made. Uh, the hood fits really well. The material is nice. It has a button just over here. It has a beautiful logo on the back. A very big one. Again, very well made. Not embroidered once more, but really nice nonetheless. Nothing to complain about. The cape is really nice. I really like the fact that it's lined with like this nice like green yes. silk. It's like more green than the cape. Yeah, literally nothing else to say. It's really well done. Yeah. I'm well sorry. <laughs> and the last item is horse riding. <laughs> uh, this bag is full of belts. Both of our sets are in this, so yeah. it's not that much, I promise. So you have a main piece, which contains the back and lower back part, which extended to the leg pieces. You can lift them up. And you have one main belt with double belt loops and a double clasp. And then you have four of these small ones, which are for your legs. Yes, two on each leg. We have to say that we spent a solid hour trying to put them together. But once we did, it became very obvious how to do it. It's just the first time. We tried to search tutorials on YouTube, etc. But we realized that ours is actually a bit differently made. And I have to say it's simpler. Sim simpler? Simpler. Simpler. <laughs> it is simpler. Yes. It's just less fuss. Yeah. It's pretty easy to put on once yeah. you figure it out. A lot of like the Amazon ball harnesses have like 12 pieces. These have like six at best. So mm. it's good. It's less, less for nicotine. The material is, I would say, fake leather. However, I don't know that for sure. If you want more information on what the fabrics actually are, just simply go on costume. We provided the link below and you'll find all the information. The only complaint of mine is that they don't fit perfectly, unfortunately, mm. especially mine. So what we had to do is, thankfully we got two of the same costume, so we could exchange pieces which fit each other better. However, technically my costume didn't really fit me. Ashley's belt was too small, my leg pieces were too big, just overall sort of... It's like problems you can fix very easily, like the velcro, you just like take this velcro take it off and glue it like Pull somewhere it down here and then it'll fit you just fine. Yeah. It's just a case of adjusting it. It's not hard to, but if you're not up for DIY, but I think again, it could have been our mistake. It could have been our measurements or maybe we messed up the belts or maybe they didn't mess them up in the factory when they put them together because it was together. So who knows? We succeeded in sort of fitting them by exchanging pieces. So it worked in the end pretty well. So overall rating of the costume would be extremely good. We rate Comfort 8 out of 10, simply for the reason that the costume is a bit restricting. However, it's much easier to move in it than I originally thought it would be. Yeah. Quality, I give it like a good 9 out of 10. There's a little niggles here and there, some loose buttons, and this silky material that I'll never be a fan of, but that could be personal preference. Some people like a good shiny. And finally, the shipping was amazing. It only took less than a week, I believe, and it came so quickly to United Kingdom. No complaints there. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching us, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for sticking with us. Bye.